Aren't Asians all alike? Did you know that Thai people, they eat fried chicken, not like this, but with a spoon. And many Vietnamese don't know their uncle's names. Picture this, picture a Samoan man and a Japanese man. What do you see as the differences? There is a humongous contrast between the Asian cultures, and there is a financial benefit for you to know the differences. How is your company celebrating Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month? You might wonder, why should we do that? Why should we make the effort? What's the business value there, Jolene? You have retention, recruitment, new markets, and avoiding lawsuits. Oh yeah, there's value. Retention. Do you have Asians at your company? If you do, they're going to be honored and because they're acknowledged and they're going to share with you. Many Asians assimilate and are not encouraged to share their culture. And in this case, with API Heritage Month, when you're celebrating, you're gonna give them permission to be themselves, at least for a moment, and to be honored and acknowledged. And that's gonna help you increase loyalty for the company, as well as increase in uh, retention. Recruitment. To recruit diverse staff, it's important that your current staff are culturally sensitive and start learning about other cultures. And that needs to be reflected in your ads and in your customer service to be more appealing to the other cultures. If you have a team of 30 year old white male hipsters, then it's gonna be hard to be able to connect with people outside of that domain. And that leaves you liable for lawsuits and bad things to happen because you don't have the different perspectives to protect you. New markets, you want some new business and you're thinking about capturing the Chinese American market, boom, because it is huge and lots of money for you, then you need to have Chinese Americans working at your team because you've got to package up and build these services, they're gonna to appeal to them. In this program, you're gonna hear what I call culture bites. And the idea is to entreat people, to get them excited about learning Asian, about Asian cultures. And I'm gonna share some major differences and drop a few tidbits and uh, you know where they can win at Trivial Pursuit and be the hit of the party because they know so many different things and they're, they're culturally sensitive. And people are going to want to share these ideas not because they have to, because it's interesting. And they're going to want to say, talk to Minami and to Casanero and to Kwa and Van and to, to talk about their Asian friends or the people they kind of know to ask, oh, can you tell me more about that? And it's going to be exciting and intriguing. I like to use the attraction, intrigue and pull method opposed to in your face, you have to do this, you can't do that. I think you can get a lot more with carrots and making it fun for people. So that is the idea. My name is Jolene Jang, Japanese, Chinese, Swedish, fourth generation American, Seattleites. Let's talk about the program and how you can benefit.